um, more reading today as well. Let's see how you oh, do. Okay, see, sí, see. Sí. So, okay, so in Spanish, we never say while listening, but we would say when you are, oh, sorry, while you are listening, blah, blah, blah. So, so. cuando estás escuchando. Um, mientras, while is mientras. Oh, mientras estás escuchando a largo horas de lectura. Um, largas horas de, but this is like a class, right? Like, like, oh. something, like a speech sort of thing. Okay, sí, sí. So, mientras estás escuchando o mientras escuches, mientras. So, remember, while is mientras. Mientras escuches o mientras estés escuchando, repeat. Mientras estás escuchando. Estés, mientras estés. Oh, y mientras estés escuchando. Eh, largas horas. Largas horas. De clase. De clase. Turn on instrumental music in background. How do you say turn on? Encender. Okay. That's also to light something up with fire. Okay. Encender a música instrumental. Like, you know what? Although that's a translation, that we would say in Spanish, like, put instrumental music on in background. So that would be like, pon. Pon. Música. Música instrumental. Yep. In background. In... ¿Cómo se dice background? So, we don't say in background, but of background in Spanish. So, that would be de fondo. De fondo. That's like background noise. Yeah. yeah. With okay. very... Give me, I'm writing down de fondo. Mild sounds. Um, con... Ruido muy um that's in do you hear me one? Si, si. me escuchas hola well hello um, um it's like yeah like can you hear me well si si that's in si si ahora me escuchas yeah, I can hear you. I mean, it's like kind of cutting a bit. Okay. Um, but es mejor yeah, I think it's okay now. I think so. Okay. So, with very mild sound. Con, con ru, ruido muy pequeño. Un sonido muy... Un, un sonido muy... Suave. Muy suave. Yeah, although sonido is a translation of sound, we would prefer to say uh, con un um, volumen, like with a volume. Okay. Con un volumen muy suave. Okay. So what was that word one more time for sound? Uh, volumen. I mean, but the only in this one because we're speaking about like music so like we speak about like the the how how like how loud it is si. so yeah like we would prefer to say volume instead of sound because sound is sounds like too general in spanish si, si. okay so um it will help you focus through long boring sessions mm -hmm. okay um Lo ayudas? Lo ayudas? Hold, uh, yeah. hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it will help. It will help you. Okay. I don't need to start with it because that's a pronoun. So. Exactly. Yeah. Ayudas? Uh, so, te, yeah. Uh -huh. Te ayudas, yeah. it will help te, you. Te ayudará. 
because it's future. Te ayudará. It will help you. Uh, focus. A enfocarte. A enfocarte. Uh, to long, boring sessions. Hasta largo or hasta eh, sesiones muy largo y aburrido. A través de. A través de. That's true. A través de. A través de. A través de. Yes, that's true. It's three words in Spanish. A través de. Long, boring sessions. Okay. A través de sesiones muy largo y aburrido. Sesiones largas. Largas. Aburridas. Aburridos. Aburridas. Exactly, yeah, because it's feminine. Um, okay, so the next one, let's see. Let's see what else have we got. Um, you know, like I've got like all these suggestions. Sí, sí. <laughs> Every, a car before you sleep. Food for thought. Let's see. Ah, sí, sí. I love life tips. It makes life way easier. So everyone talks about leaving the planet a better place for our kids. We should also leave better kids for our planet. Ooh. Okay. okay. So. Yeah. Todos personas hablan sobre llevando la tierra un lugar mejor por nuest nuestros niños. Nosotros deberíamos... All right, help me out. Todos hablan... Okay, so todos hablan acerca de dejar a better... A acerca place, de dejar... Acerca de dejar un... Um, la that, tierra... Un, un mejor un mejor planeta planeta so from the beginning uh, todos hablan todos hablan acerca de dejar acerca, acerca de dejar un mejor planeta un mejor planeta para nuestros hijos para ne, para, nos, para nuestros hijos Nuestros niños. No, you know, it's more accurate to say niños. Para nuestros, nuestros niños. niños. We should also... So, what did you... How far did you get here? Debarríamos. Sí. Also. Todavía. También. También. Oh, shit. También. también. Eh, nosotros tam deberíamos también... Leave. Dejar... Mm -hmm. Mejor niños, mejores, mejores niños for our planet, por el mundo, or por el planito, para nuestro, para nuestro, like this, para nuestro, para planeta, nuestro planeta. Good. Um, let's see what else have we got. Um, so do you often get angry? Hmm. So easy ways to stop being an angry person. Sí. So how do you, trans how do you translate that? Okay. Uh, fácil, ¿cómo se dice ways? Formas. Fácil formas. A altar de dejar. Wait, a ver, por más fáciles de dejar. No, you know what? Para, es para. Like, para dejar. Para dejar. Being. Estando. Para dejar. 
de ser de ser una, una persona una persona, una persona angry uh, emocionado enojada enojada emocionada is excited oh sí 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 Okay, so from the beginning, for más fáciles para dejar de ser una persona enojada. For más fáciles para dejar de ser una persona eno enojada. Good. Uh, let's see. So, practice the vis visualization technique. Think of a happy memory from your childhood and visualize it to calm your mind. Okay. Here's a pra good one. Practica. Uh, practica. practica el técnico, el técnico, la, la, te la técnica, la técnica de visu visualización, visualización, visualización. Once again, practica la técnica de visualización. Practica la técnica. Técnica de visual, visualización. Good. Remember that Z sounds like an S here in Colombia, okay? Visual, visualización. Yeah, all of them, like the, the S, the Z, the, sí, the sí. C, all of them sound like, a, like an S in Spanish. Here in Colombia, in Colombian Spanish. Um, hey, why, why were you asking me about Laurel as an Envigado? Oh, you, uh, we're looking at going in April. We were looking at places. Ah, nice. Like, will you will you do an Airbnb? Uh, probably, yeah. Nice. I mean, yeah, I, I like Envigado better, and there's a huge like they say the biggest mall there is in town. I think in the country is over there, so it's quite worth living close by, and it's very green. I like it very much because like a lot of the streets they they seem to be like a par like parkways. Oh, a lot of them, see, see. because it's because of being so green. So that makes it quite cozy, in my opinion. Y es, uh, es otro lugar, like, Lorelis isn't really a part of Medellin, is it? Yeah, Envigado is, is another city. That's the one which is not part of Medellin. Uh, but Lorelis is a neighborhood of Medellin. So Envigado you... is a city, but it's right next to Medellin. Like, you, like, if you don't know, you wouldn't know when you're in Medellin or in Envigado. Like, you would think it's Medellin. But you like Envigado better. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, like, yeah, because Laureles is like, it's it's nice, it's cozy, but it's like a lot of concrete, pretty much like what you're probably used to seeing all the time. So. Yeah. Okay. It, would you, is there any place you think, where would you, do you think is the best location to stay? Hmm. But it depends on what you look for. Like, what do you like having around? Like, just being close to restaurants and, like, walking around, seeing stuff. Definitely Envigado. I mean, like, That's... Poblado is good, but in my opinion, it's still too, like, it's still got a lot of concrete as well. Like, it's got a lot of nice places, but I don't find it that nice to walk around. I mean, like, it's a lot of concrete. It's clean. It's nice, like, the architecture and stuff. but. I think Envigado is very nice to go for a walk and just chill and yeah and, and go to restaurants. I think that's what you what you want. Okay. Um, yeah. How far is the place in your picture on WhatsApp? Um, uh, the one on uh, uh, it's like a two hour drive, but it's very nice. Like like when when going there, they're like there are like one or two stops before go before actually arriving to the lake. See? But it's very nice. Like you haven't been there, have you? No, no. You've got to go. I mean, like if you if you don't go to Guatape, you you you, you weren't in Medellin. I mean, like that's in my opinion, that's the best place to go to. I mean, like there are very nice places, but that's one of my favorite ones. I've been there like hundreds of times, and it's very nice. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's very cool. Like you you should plan it. Um. Yeah. And this is, you've been to Santa Marta as well, right? Yeah. And you didn't care for it very much. Um, I mean, like, it's because I don't like how 
humid weather. I'm, so I don't enjoy those kinds of environments very much in general. Like no matter how beautiful they are. But but as far as I know, Santa Marta is the location in the world which has like a beach and mountains like the closest to one another. Okay. So it's very nice because the, the, the place that it's in the mountains is called Minca. And they say that it's a bit colder than Medellin, so that's got to be very nice. I haven't been there myself, but I want to go because it would be very nice to have like a kind of 20, 23 degrees. Uh, what is it? What we've got? Celsius, right? Si, <laughs> si. And, uh, but that you can go to the beach in 20 minutes. Yeah, that so, would be cool. Exactly, yeah, because you would have like a very nice weather to live in. But when you want to go to to go for a swim in the beach, it would be nice to just ride for twenty minutes or take a bus or a taxi, whatever it uh, happens to be. So, yeah, I think that that makes it nice. I want to go to Santa Marta to check that out to say Minca to say yeah in Minca and 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 see how it how 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 it is. But but as for like everyone who's been there and has told me about it, they say that they loved it. This is. What? This is my last question. Like Bogota, have you ever been? I've been, but many years ago. Like uh, I mean, it's got it's it's got to have changed a lot. Like I was there like uh, fifteen, sixteen years ago. Okay. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so it's it's got to have changed a lot. Most of people don't like it. I mean, like, but like here in Medellin, like it's not big deal. Like, but they say that like there. Are, very few people who say that there are some things and events and some stuff that 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 are going on there that aren't in Medellin. I haven't actually been able to understand what they mean because because I'm like okay, restaurants we've got restaurants like events we've got events like so yeah I I just don't know what what they mean. They say like it's more cultural and stuff. So if you like 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 that those things, then maybe you might like it. Okay. You've got to try it yourself. It's a bit, I mean, it's it's colder than Medellin. Like, it can go, like, 10 degrees or 8 degrees, I think. In my opinion, that's too cold. Like, we're just so used to, a, like, 18, 22 degrees. That's my perfect weather. <laughs> so, sí, sí, claro. So, yeah, but I mean, like, if you haven't been, you should go. Like, like it's, it's, it's good that you experience it yourself. Like, there are people who love Bogotá and they didn't like Medellin, so... Like, it's their own, right? See, si, see, si. uh, and, and they're like Colombia even has deserts. Yes, there are. Uh, Tatacoa, look, Tatacoa. I think it's Tatacoa. Tatacoa. There are there are various. I mean, like I think there are like two or three which are sort of big. I think you should look them up. I don't know the names. I I would be lying like about the name, but but I know that there are. So if you want to go, like I've seen pictures and they're nice. You should go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, like, do you want to go to one? Uh, no, it's just crazy to think, like, Columbia, you know, the actual, the country has a large population, but it's not that big. Like, it's very diverse. I like, a mini, like, like speaking about the environment, like, there's Yeah, like, of, there's mountains, like, the Sierra. Oh, like, okay, okay, okay. You know, okay, okay. There's yeah, the like Pacific, the Atlantic, you know, the Caribbean, like. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, 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 definitely. I mean, like, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, I completely agree with you. I might be ignorant, but, like, the Amazon is in Colombia as well, right? Like, the jungle? Uh, Yeah, yeah, there's part of it here, yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's, like, you know, it's very, very diverse. It's cool. Yeah, I mean, like, it's, uh, those are the things that, I mean, we've, we've always had them, so we as locals don't appreciate it as much. But, yeah, I, I completely understand your point like I, I i've told you like i've 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 come to uh, to cherish the my country from from foreigners eyes like si, i didn't si, need claro. to do it but like like people like you who who tell me like these things like i'm like oh yeah you know he's right yeah like i there there is something you should watch the pictures uh, it's called caño cristal Come. i want to go there caño cristal it's awesome like it's it's so colorful like they are like some sort of springs, like cold springs, but they're nice. It's so colorful. It's sort of got like flowers in the springs. So it's, it, it, those make them, make it like very nice, like so beautiful. Okay. Can Do you see it? Crystal. Crystal. 
Oh my god. You're watching it? Uh I'm seeing pictures of it. It's very nice. And and I think that it's got like some sort of natural slides. It's so cool. It's muy, very cool, very cool. Yeah, I would definitely like to see that. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's go on. So think of a happy memory from your childhood and visualize it to calm your mind. Okay. Um, <laughs> Piensa de... Piensa in un memoria feliz. Memoria feliz, sí. De su, de tu childhood. Niñez. Yeah. Y to would you say visualize in Spanish? Yeah, yeah, we would. Um, look, e v sua li sala. So visual visual v sua li sala. Yeah, once again, visualizala. Visualizala. To calm your mind. A tranquil para comar tu mente. So, from the beginning, piensa en una memoria feliz de tu niñez y visualízala para calmar tu mente. Piensa en un memoria en una. En una memoria feliz de tu niñez y vis, visual isla, isla. Once again, visualízala. Visualízala. Para Good. calmar tu mente. Good. Perfect. Any doubt? No, no. <laughs> like those long words. I know that diphthongs and triptongs are like a, like a, like a pain in the neck for anyone. Sí, sí. Spanish. Um, so breathe deeply. Okay. So how do you say that? Breathe deeply. Alien, no, uh, respira, respira, profunda, profunda, mente, mente, profundamente, Once respira, again, respira. Mm -hmm. respira, profundamente, good, breathe deeply to clear out the blockages that are making you feel sick. And stuck. Okay. Blockages. Hmm. That's like blocks. Like yeah, blocks. things that are like stressing you out. Mm, so what are the blockages. Let me just double check because I'm not sure. Blockage. I've never seen that word before. It, yeah, it would be like I have a blockage. Like it's the thing that's like making me stressed. Okay. Blockage. Blockage. Hmm. Mm, let me see. Let me just see what, what the translations. Blockage, bloqueo. Okay, yeah. It's good. Yeah. So, breathe deeply. Respiras deeply. profundamente. Respira. Respira, Respira profundamente. Profundamente. Mm -hmm. Aclarar. Para, para aclarar. Para aclarar. Bloques. Blo los bloqueos. Los bloqueos. Como. That are making you feel sick and stuck. Como así que que te están haciendo sentir 
enferma. Enfermo o enferma enfermo. if it's a woman, right? Sí, enfermo y... Atascado. Atascado. From the beginning, respira profundamente. Respira profundamente. Para aclarar. A para aclarar. Para aclarar los para, bloqueos. Para aclarar. Oh, no, you know what? You know what? But to clear out. Para, that's like to take them away, right? Okay, sí. Para breathe deeply to clear out the blockages that are making you. Para, How would you say yeah. to remove the blockages? Para remover. No, you know what? Aclarar is okay. I mean, there's something para aclarar, that feels no, off. But yeah, no, it's yes. Bloqueos, los bloqueos. Los bloqueos que, que te están, están haciendo sentir enfermo, enfermo y afascado, afascado. Atascado, atascado. Atascado, sí. Good. Okay. okay. The next one and the last one. So think okay. before you act. Uh, Piensa antes acta, actas de, antes de actuar. actuar. Piensa antes de actuar. Like in Spanish, we say think before acting. Okay. okay. Um, don't let yourself carry away as you might say you do something that you will only regret later. Okay. Um, no, no, te like, like to, 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 like, like to get carried away in Spanish is like, eh, dejarse, like to let yourself be taken, to okay. let yourself be taken. No, te all. No te dejes. No te dejes. Llevar. Llevar. As you might say. No te dejes llevar. A tu. Ya que. Ya que. That is the translation that we we using for as. So okay. as. Ya que you ya might que say tu dichas podrías podrías eh, decir decir o hacer o hacer something algo 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 that you will only regret later que Tú que tú solo regretar te arrepentirás 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 so to regret is reflexive in Spanish which is arrepentirse solo te arrepentirás later Des, después o oh, más tarde o oh, más tarde okay. sí Either way. okay okay so hey um so could you stop the recording for a bit yeah please? yeah